It's so hard to make solar videos right now in Southern California with how many rain days we're getting. And so today we're gonna to talk about Tesla power walls and we're gonna talk about rainwater capture. And I'm not joking, it's honestly raining on me right now. It's starting to, so we gotta shoot fast. The reason why I like batteries, both ones that are filled with electricity or batteries that are filled with water is because of the optionality that it gives you in your home. You can buy your electricity from the grid or you can buy your water from the grid or you can use your stored electricity or you can use your stored water. And then in the case of electricity, you can like the, because of time of use pricing, you can use this stored electricity during peak pricing, which lowers your cost of buying it from the grid. And so water for now, I'm just using to, uh, you know, water the garden when it's not raining, but it changes the mindset of just how you're interacting with the grid. I've said in previous videos, I like the, I like the term grid optional as opposed to off grid, because I like the optionality of being able to get my resources from two places and then in some cases be able to send my resources you know back out so let me turn the camera around and i'll show you how the rainwater system works so here's a shot at the roof we put gutters on the entire house and then this is our main downspout here in the back there's three downspouts there's that little one in the front yard that drains right into those front trees and then this is our main one that goes into our 2500 gallon cistern the first thing you're seeing is a first flush system and so that takes the first 50 gallons off the uh roof and kind of cleans the roof and then the rest of it the system's called a wet system so the rest of it goes underground and back up these pipes into the 2,500 gallon cistern. So that whole pipe below ground is filled with water. And because the inlet pipe over on the cistern is below that line right there, the whole thing fills up. On this side, we're definitely way less sophisticated. This is only a 50 gallon little rain tank and it fills up almost immediately as soon as it starts raining. And you can see the power walls right there. I'll show you those down by the trash cans in a second. And then we just run the water kind of manually with this hose and just kind of flood irrigate these fava beans right here. Here's the power walls on the side of the garage and see, you can see the same thing. Basically the resource comes down onto the roof and then it flows through these little wires into the battery. This is then where the rainwater gets used. And in the springtime, I get a little more sophisticated with a gravity timer and I run it on a schedule. But for now, we just kind of open and close it on the sunny days. This is Pearl and we even fill up her water right here from the rain tank sometimes also. Every day from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m., which is peak pricing from the grid, the electricity flows back in through these wires to our main electrical panel and powers the house. So in addition to storing our surplus solar for later in the day, we also monetize it through Bitcoin mining. Go ahead and check out the next video for more on that and leave a comment down below about what you think about batteries.